Welcome back. Today I am testing my RX 7900 GRE with the AV1 encoder on OBS Studio. I have it to 25 megabit a second for AV1 encoding, which is what I would also use for uploading since my internet connection can handle it. I'm also using my Scarlett Focusrite Scarlett Solo Gen 4, which shows up in Windows perfectly fine. Um, I did find I had to add a separate audio capture device to capture just my microphone. I am using my Rode Wireless Go with an XLR connector. Uh, so it's probably picking up everything in the background, but I will use the tools in DaVinci Resolve, which also works on this video card using full Mesa driver stack. So I'm just seeing how the AV1 does recording while talking. Uh, it is capturing three audio channels right now. Uh, so <laughs> hopefully... I mean, OBS is anywhere between 2.2 to 2.6 CPU usage with VA API AV1 encoding. Um, I do, unfortunately, though, plan on buying an RTX 4070 Ti because I really want the GPU encoding. For AV1 in DaVinci Resolve under Linux because I really just want to quit booting into Windows. I will probably move Windows into a virtual machine after I get an NVIDIA card. I will be keeping the AMD card, however, to build a home theater slash game console living room PC using Bazite OS with the AMD card. So there is that. The card wasn't a complete waste of money, but it definitely let me know for, even though content creation, yes, you have GPU encoding on Linux with it. You don't have GPU encoding in DaVinci Resolve. And I have the AI image generation inside of Krita installed using Comfy UI. Thankfully, Comfy UI works on AMD GPUs good. Using a Python Venv <laughs> to do it. And I have the inside of that, whatever that Python environment is, I have the development version of Rockham 6.1, which is allowing Comfy UI to use uh, CUDA, NVIDIA's CUDA, on the AMD card. It works good, but I do know, even though under Windows, this video card under DaVinci Resolve has all the features I need for GPU encoding. Under Windows, I can edit my 6K open gate video from my Lumix S5 II. Under Linux, however, it stutters. <laughs> 4K 422 10-bit is totally fine, no matter how much color grading I put on it, though. It's actually perfectly fine. It is weird with this audio interface, though. <laughs> not hearing my voice through the headphones. I have to push the direct button to be able to do that. But we will see how this does. And honestly, we'll see what the file size ends up being. You know, I just feel this game tests stuff really good, you know, and the ray tracing is good, but I know the ray tracing would be better under Windows or under under an NVIDIA card, and unfortunately, the AI acceleration stuff is also better. Um, I will be making a video regarding the essentially generative AI inside of the Krita 
painting program and how I now am using it alongside photography for removing objects in photos or adding stuff into photos for that matter. And just some different generative AI stuff I'm doing. Yeah, this game's running very good. I should have set up a mango HUD to get the frame rate, but I didn't. In these shadows should be a good area to see the encoding quality. I've tested it, that's why I've kind of settled on 25 megabit or 25,000 kilobyte. Let's see what is over here. There is always ooh. Had to scare a demon away. It was getting too comfortable here. Okay. <laughs> I haven't had her do that shoot unless I go in there. I do really need to play through this game, which is another reason why I might start doing some live streams. Maybe once a week live stream do a q a live stream but on that q a live stream i'll probably do uh probably just play a game for that q a let's go in turns here it's not stable enough careful at least it held yeah one game I have started playing is uh, Rage. <laughs> I've been watching uh, Brian Menard play that game, actually. Dang, girl, kill him. It's funny that I saw that dude sitting there before he attacked. Come on. I'm moving on without you. Ah, it's in here. Is she out here yet? Come on. Yep. Man, this game's really nice looking. We let them pass. Why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Wait it out. It's off limits for a reason because they're lying to us. I'm glad they didn't know the hurt. Well, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, comment below what you think on the quality of the image quality. Uh, sound quality of this um i will be doing voice isolation in davinci resolve to get rid of the sound of the furnace running in the background and my computer um but like i said unfortunately i probably will be going to back to an nvidia card to get my full davinci resolve feature set Uh, but other than that, the experience with AMD, it's been hit or miss. <laughs> I would say the issues I've had on NVIDIA, I would say are less than the issues I've had on AMD. I do like that you can do full 
open source Mesa drivers. And by the way, the same OpenCL driver that I use for DaVinci Resolve, the Rusty CL Mesa driver. For Mesa, it's the OpenCL driver. That driver works on AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it there. Like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know some future videos you'd like to see uh, since I am going to be keeping this in AMD card on a whole second computer. Uh, I'll be able to continue running tests on this card no matter what, along with a NVIDIA card. Possibly looking into a cheap Intel card just for testing also. But like, subscribe, comment below, and I'll see you in the next video here soon. Thank you. Bye.